Hey guys, it's Richard here from Channel 23, ha ha ha, and this is a Back to My Belfry movie review. The first Back to My Belfry movie review. Um, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, you have many other reviews that are Back to My Belfry. Well, those are seasonal. I said holiday or summer for those ones. However, in 2010, from now on, I'm going to have a review every Friday. And if I miss a Friday, then I'm going to do a cool little skit for you guys. Maybe parroting one of the movies. But anyway, so yeah, Bats to My Belfry is, you know, forever now. Every Friday. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This is the review of The Book of Eli. The Book of Eli stars Denzel Washington, Gary Oldman, Mila Kunis, uh, Ray Stevenson, and uh, a couple other characters. And it's directed by the Hughes Brothers, who hasn't directed a movie since 2001. And that film was from Hell, starring Johnny Depp and... Uh, Heather Graham, and From Hell was based on a Alan Moore graphic novel, which is based on real events of Jack the Ripper. However, this film, I don't think is based on anything. Um, I'll have to, ooh, sorry, excuse me, I just ate, <laughs> I probably, there should be like a rule, wait one hour after you eat to make a video. They need to have people bitching and complaining, but I want to make a video now! That'd just be another retarded rule. Anyways, <laughs> I probably should have said retarded. Let's continue. So, yeah, the Book of Eli, um, I still, I don't think it's based on anything. Uh, it's about this drifter, played by Denzel Washington, who's been walking west in uh, post-apocalyptic America for 30 years. So, and he's been walking west based on, with nothing but a uh, uncharged iPod, uh, a really nifty looking machete sword looking thing, shotgun, a pistol, a couple of supplies, water, and this book, which is the very last known Bible in the world. And as he's walking, you know, he no, he's, he's, he's on this path guided by the will of God. And one day he walks into this town and, meet, and uh, he meets this guy named Carnegie, who is played by Gary Oldman. Uh, you know, the bad guy of the film. And, and honestly, it's been kind of intriguing to see Gary Oldman go back to bad guy because he's played a lot of bad guys and then more so nowadays he was, you know, Sirius Black from Harry Potter and Commissioner Gordon from The Dark Knight and, you know, Batman Begins. But now he's back to kind of his bad guy roots, which is kind of interesting. Anywho, uh, once Carnegie finds out that Eli has this book, um, Carnegie wants the book, like, mad um, because he's been sending people out to get a bunch of different books but the one book he wants is the Bible and that's pretty much what the plot of the movie is. Now we've had several different post-apocalyptic films this year. We've had um, 2012 which isn't really post-apocalyptic, it's apocalyptic, it's about the end of the world um, and then there was Zombieland, uh, The Road, there's been a lot of films Kind of like, you know, the vampire craze after Twilight. There's just been a lot of, you know, after the world has end films. And this one, I think, is second best. Because a lot of people like The Road. I've never seen The Road, but I want to see it. I might review it for you guys when I see it. But this film, um, it's an action, hardcore, western movie. Mixed with uh, religious themes and a post-apocalyptic setting. Uh, it's it that's that's makes it that's what makes it kind of different from you know the other films that we've seen that are post apocalyptic like Zombieland was a comedy, uh, uh, 2012 was a blockbuster, The Road was a uh, survival one, whereas this one's not really about survival; it's it's about faith, and um, the faith it being the strongest thing to have during really really dark dreading times. Um, it's it's a strong message, and I think and the film definitely definitely reaches that goal of telling us, you know, what the themes are, and you know, getting involved with what the themes are trying to tell us. Um, the high points of the film is a lot of different things. There's a lot of it's well paced, it's well acted. Maybe not so much by Mila Kunis. She's kind of eye candy. I would still, you know, I would do crazy things to her. Probably shouldn't have said that. Anyways, um, 
yeah, like, it was well acted, well paced, uh, so many different things, it was stylized, uh, but I guess maybe kind of the downside is, is that there's been a lot of different post-apocalyptic movies this year, or well, last year, just in this time frame, just a lot of different, uh, apocalyptic, you know, settings, but this one's, this one's very different, um, and it has a lot of interesting ways that the world would be after, uh, after, uh, you know, the end of the world. And, uh, the low point is really just Mila Kunis, I guess. <laughs> you know, sorry, Mila. I mean, I love you. I would, I would marry you in a second. Just, you know, you're not a good actress. All right, guys, final verdict of this film. I give this The Book of Eli four and a half stars out of five. It's a really entertaining film. Uh, it's not long at all. It's not like, it's, it's a little under, it's two minutes under, uh, uh, two whole hours, so it's not going to be, you know, a really long movie like Avatar of the Dark Knight. Um, it's not as good as those films, but it's still an enjoyable movie, and I'm glad this is the movie I get to start with for these regular ongoing series. But anyways, um, stay tuned Saturday and Sunday for two new videos. Um, Saturday, you get a top tens list for, uh, uh, no, a top five list. Hold on, my chair sucks ass. <laughs> You might have noticed I'm trying to like keep my head up because my chair keeps going down, down, down because I don't know why. Maybe there's a loose nut. I don't know. But anyways, top five best of 2009 video on Saturday and most anticipated um, movies for 2010, top five. Instead of a top five worst because in all honesty, I think the worst film I'd seen this year is Halloween 2. In all honesty. Because it's just it was just horrible. Yeah, that, that's my pick. Anyways, bye guys.